Hello and welcome to another episode of How To Be. In this episode I'm going to be taking a look at Wizards of Warriors X Fortress of Fear for the Game Boy. This is a game I've actually reviewed on my YouTube channel before, but it holds the acclaim as the only game I didn't actually manage to beat first. And that's just because I found it too damn difficult. So hopefully in this episode I'm going to shed a little bit more light into the game and to how to actually complete it. So without further ado, let's get started. So a bit of background, this game was released in 1990 I think, and it was uh, developed by Rare, it contains a David Wise soundtrack. And I basically owned it for about 30 years, I think. I think I owned it pretty much since the early 90s. So the first thing I want to do is jump up here and kill this bat. Controls are dead simple in this game, you've basically got the jump button, which is um, context sensitive I guess you'd say, or pressure sensitive, so you can jump a little bit or you can jump a lot, depending on how hard you press the button. Uh, the attack button, if you just spam the attack button, you just get this little forward stab. If you hold up while attacking, you get this overhead slash, and you can duck and attack as well. And the first thing I'm going to do now is go back the way we came from. There's a little secret hidden area. The oldest trick in the book in 90s gaming, go the wrong way. And see this little cloud floating platform? And over here we have a key and an extra life. Now keys open chests which we're going to find in a minute. Uh, you've got to be quite careful with the jumping in this game, the controls are a little bit floaty. Uh, Kuros actually suffers from fall damage as well, so you can't actually jump from too high a distance. Kuros being the main character, sorry by the way, I should have said, the game is about Kuros the knight trying to kill the evil uh, sorcerer wizard guy Malkil. Uh, so I'm actually going to skip this chest here because I know it contains hidden gems. Um, gems are basically used to collect extra lives so if you collect 10 every 10th gem you collect gives you an extra life but there's better things in chests you can find just extra lives um, in there and and you can find um, boost jumping which stop you taking full damage and let you jump a little bit higher that's probably the most useful item in the game you can find potions of healing which will heal you back up to full your life bars in the top left corner there uh, you can see what I'm standing before now is actually a healing item as well, although we don't need it. Uh, what else can you find in chest? You can find Shield of Protection, which actually takes you, lets you take a little bit less damage. And um, that might be it. Uh, there's an Invincibility Scroll, which only seems to come up once in the entire game. I'll see if I uh, can show you where that is. But it doesn't last very long, it's not really useful. So as you can see, I'm just making my way across the right now, just being careful to avoid um, projectiles flying at me, get arrows occasionally flying across the screen, and um, try to avoid taking damage off enemies. So we've got a duck here and walk through because there's a little arrow that comes right at the last minute. And we are in the castle, in the fortress of fear. I'm actually really fond of this game. Um, it was probably one of the first Game Boy games I ever owned, I think. And although it's not particularly well remembered, I don't think. I don't think it was even well reviewed when it was released, particularly anyway. I don't think it was terribly reviewed, but um, I have a lot of fondness for it, and I actually find it really fun. So I'm just going to kill these guys. Uh, this is one of those games you can probably tell already where you can... Um, stand really close to the edge of a platform with just basically your heels only your heels on and the rest of your feet sort of dangling over they used to love that in the early 90s <laughs> the old Mega Man Mega Man pixel perfect jumps so I'm just avoiding uh, these cannonballs and killing the bats okay so now we got a chest uh, in this chest is a potion of healing so I think I probably will get that because I've lost a bit of um, life maybe I'll wait until I've just walked down here there's a bat down there, oh another bat, another bat, and a key, so we can open up that chest up there if we want. So in here is the potion of healing, which will bring it back up to full, which is very welcome. And so just again be careful because of the bats, oh tick damage. And we have a shield of protection, which hopefully means we take less damage when we get hit now. Although I don't really seem to notice too much effect from the shield of protection, but supposedly that's what it does. This is just a little interconnecting room.
and we're going to walk across this uh, walkway now. So these are the first properly tough enemies in the game. They're like these Minotaur guys that walk back and forth. Oh, and you can see they do a ton of damage if they actually make contact with you. Um, so what you want to... Oh Christ. I'm not doing this very well at all. Right, so what you want to do is stand just beyond their patrol point. Uh, so you find where that is and then just stab them from there. They actually die pretty quickly at this point in the game. They seem to take more hits later on. They come up a lot more often later on. It's far more important then to just make sure you're um, uh, not standing in their little patrols then. This is definitely a slow and steady type game. It's not a game you can just like easily speed run, you know, you don't really want to be running ahead because so much stuff just ambushes you from the side of the screen or ambush ambushes you from above. You'd have to know it literally like the back of your hand to be able to um, play this game speedy. So there's actually a little secret area up here, so we're going to jump on top of the um, wall here, jump onto this moving platform. You want to wait until the lift is at its lowest point because otherwise you'll take full damage falling off of there. I'm going to hop up here, pick up a gem, and jump across here onto this floating platform. Again, wait till it's at its lowest point, then we jump off. That's an extra life, and keep. So earlier I said um, I was avoiding chests with uh, gems in, and that's exactly what's in that chest there. The reason I'm doing that is because I know I'm going to max out on extra lives. You basically can only ever have nine extra lives, and I'm going to easily manage that. So I'd rather keep the keys just in case I need um, a chest with boots of jumping or a shield of protection or something like that. And we're up to the first boss now. So what I want to do is jump on this platform here and quickly jump out of the way. And the bat is going to land on this platform below. Then I'm going to stab him as he comes up. Now he's going to come from above. So we're going to stab him while he comes down, and then I've got to wait till he appears on the right side of the screen and then jump. There we go. And then we basically rinse and repeat that pattern. Dead easy. Okay, so now he's going to come from the right side of the screen again. Jump. And there we go. Simple as that. That's the first boss done. Okay, so we're on to the kind of second proper stage now. Um, and there's going to be projectiles flying at me from the right side of the screen. I'll be jumping over those. Again, slow and steady is the key. Yeah, I could go and get that gem, but honestly, I'm going to max out on um, extra lives. As I said, so it's not really worth worrying too much about picking up gems. Oop, did jump quick enough there. Hop over that one. There's a bat that comes across here. Here, yeah, I just want to time it when there's spiders up. Oop, didn't quite jump high enough. There we go. health. Stab, stab, stab. Now, sometimes the um, the amount of hits an enemy needs to uh, disappear is wildly different. I'm not sure if it's like a coding thing or whether it's like a thing they did on purpose, I'm not sure. But some enemies seem to take one hit and die really easily, other times they seem to need like three or four. <laughs> it's very difficult to avoid um, taking damage at all in this game, it's, it's kind of inevitable that you will take some damage. Like here, it's very difficult to just not take ugh, any damage, there you go, see I lost a little bit there from the acid. Quite often you'll find yourself in situations where there's just a wall of projectiles flying at you that you just you can't seem to avoid. So we're about to pick up the best item in the game, the boots of jumping. Now once you've got these, you kind of want to hold on to them, you don't I want to really try and not die. And this uh, 
why you've got these because it can be frustrating because there's certain sections we do actually need the boots of jumping to even progress. Generally when that happens though they do make sure they put a, a key in a chest nearby. So oh well let's go back and get the boots of jumping again. <laughs> that was a silly mistake. Right okay so at least I can show you that how these things reappear though. See that chest is unopened again and the key's back. So you can basically do that um, again. Boots are jumping, hooray! And hop up here, up down here. Might need to kill these spiders again, do I? Oh, they're still dead. Right, so let's try that again without falling off this time. So I want to basically jump onto this moving platform here and whoops, jump onto the roof here as well, and collect an extra life and the gem, I think. It's hard to know because you can't actually see, but I think that's what I collected. Okay, so we're going to get more projectiles. Ugh, this is one of those bits where I just... Sometimes I fluke it and don't take any damage there, but other times I do, like then. Oops. Jump. Okay. Where I just kind of inevitably take a little bit of damage. Um, I think there's an extra life in this chest, so I'll get that. I lost that one earlier. Okay, so we hop up here and kill this skeleton guy. It takes a few hits. And there's a little bit of healing here, which I do actually need. There's a key down there, I don't think I'll bother. Um, uh, I am going to max out on extra lives by the end of this level, I think. So there's an extra life there anyway. Well, it's quite easy to drop down there if you've got the boots jumping and I think you can just jump straight back up again but I don't want to risk getting hit by these skeleton heads. Uh, I think health is more important to me at the moment. Did a little running jump there, that's not actually something you generally want to do in this game. Um, keep reiterating this kind of a slow and steady game but it really is, there is no kind of like um, reason to do a running jump, you don't get any more momentum from it, it just makes the jumps more difficult, you're much better off just standing at the edge of the platform and just jumping. So here's a little bonus room, you see I went through the um, hidden exit at the top there, I forgot to actually point out when I was doing it, uh, but at least this little bonus room anyway, we get some gems and some extra life. Okay, uh, let's bounce and fly across. So we're actually maxed out on lives now, I've only lost half a heart so we're in pretty good shape. Oh, what we did until that back came along. Uh, so we've got a key there. I think in this chest, I think is probably boots of jumping. I'm not actually sure to be honest, I can't remember now. I think it must be. Oh, got hit by a little hidden arrow splash, uh, acid splash there. So these platforms are a little bit tricky because they start moving in funny directions. Some go up, some go down, but generally you just want to uh, carefully traverse those and kill that skeleton guy. The best thing to do is just jump and stand, make sure you're standing here. There's another guy. See, they generally just, a lot of enemies in this game just follow these little patrol patterns, so you just want to make sure you're not in their way. Uh, you start losing damage so quick, so you can actually jump over there rather than go down. Um, actually, it's safe to go this way, think about it, because there's a nice little, oh, little spot here where you can stand and stand. I might do that to collect the key. Uh, okay. This skeleton head. These usually take a, a few hits. And I'm sure that is boots of jumping down there. Because if you lose them, you, you actually need them at this point. So you have the chance to be able to go back and collect them. But here's a complete blind uh, leap of faith. So I'm just going to wait till the skull's at the bottom. flies you yes it does couldn't do anything about that unfortunately so there is a, a little secret exit up there I'm just sort of seeing if I can deal with the pattern I probably could actually I might actually try and see what's up there because um, I'm, I'm probably gonna die in the process which means I probably won't be able to get through because I think you need a key for that door but I think I'm gonna give it a go just because I never um, <laughs> maybe not that's a shame 
Um, I don't think I can go through there now. Never mind. We'll go through this door. I think it might be a bonus room, basically. Okay, so we get some bats flying across. Projectiles. See what I mean about taking it being unavoidable, taking some some damage. I can get further than this without losing a life though, this isn't the best playthrough I've ever done, by any stretch. It is kind of um, a little bit more difficult when you're commentating whilst doing it. But there is a certain point where, well I'll point it out when we get to it, where I do find it impossible to not die though. So this is actually a boss room, believe it or not. As you can probably tell by the music actually. So there's all these skeleton heads around. There's gonna be one flying across from the right, so I jump down here, so I'm just gonna duck, let them go overhead. And I'm gonna stand on the edge here and just stab uh, this one that I can reach. And then I wanna hop over to the platform and go with one. So stab, stab, jump. And then stab. Have I got boost jumping? I don't think I do have boost jumping, do I? Okay, so the timing on this is actually different whether or not you've got boost jumping or not. So he does this little pattern, he's going to close his mouth. Second, okay, so now this time he's going to close it for a little bit longer, and then he's going to open it for a bit longer. So, I want to wait until he's just opening his mouth when he's about to do it for the, the longer. There we go. If I had boost jumping, I'd actually want to jump a little bit before that, just like a, a fraction before. But it does make all the difference. <coughs> okay, so this is the point in the game where losing lives is unfortunately a little bit inevitable. I've got here plenty of times without losing any before, but beyond here, not so much. Okay, so there's another little secret as we go left. Yeah, just deal with these floating platforms. You want to be careful about moving around on top of the platforms. I'll try and do it safely. But if you're right at the top and moving, sometimes the platform will kind of drop away from you and it's really easy to sort of um, fall off. Yeah, so generally if you are going to move on a platform, you want to be doing it um, both in the middle of its traversal rather than the top of the bottom. Okay, so a lot of crap's going to start flying us from the right side of the screen. Uh, I got hit by it even though I was ducking, that's a shame. Because generally the way you want to deal with it is just by ducking. Because one stopped earlier then, never mind. Um, okay, so this one's going to stop way over there. Okay, so just past this shield, so I'm going to stand here and stab. So I actually follow these back and forth because I'm, I'm sure I found out once, um, just through playing the game, that they actually kind of heal if you let them walk off the screen. They kind of respawn basically with full health. Could be wrong on that, but I tend to make a habit of just following them across the screen anyway. So I'm going to jump down here. I don't actually know if I need to be yet. Okay, so there's a little one here to deal with. So you got to just time these axes and then jump in the middle and time again, and then I'm just going to go for it. Ugh. Let's jump here, then I'm going to duck under this bat. I'm not even going to bother trying to get in there for a kill. Yeah. Okay, and then I've just got to time it so that I try not to take damage from this bat. I'm going to do. Okay, so in this chest there's boots jumping, but we don't have a key at the moment. Uh, but we are about to need the boots jumping, so we're going to have to come back and get it. Okay, so I'm just going to ugh, kill this bat. 
jump back. <sighs> and all is well and in the world again. So, jump back across. Quite a big jump here. So you want to be ugh, making sure you're on the edge of the platform there. Um, Okay, this is going to be a difficult bit to not take any damage, just because they're quite unpredictable, the patterns here. But just try and take as little as you can. Okay. Stuff. Now, bats. At this point, I start getting really skittish. And, um, rather than killing enemies, I tend to just jump over them a lot of the time so this is a point where I'm almost certain it's impossible to do perfectly because it's this little minotaur is patrolling on such a small little platform that he just runs back and forth back and forth you just you really don't have time to kind of deal with it well it doesn't help you do that okay never mind so oh, jump jump there you go, from that. I took a little bit of damage from the fire, that was actually a pretty good attempt. Oh, I might actually just see what's this way. I think there might be some healing this way. I actually want to go through this door here. I'm tempted to just see what's through here. I never actually do. Just another door, okay. Well, let's try it. <laughs> I don't normally come this way. Maybe a bonus room? Oh, it is a bonus room. Okay, I'll take that. So we get a gem, a bit of healing. Be nice if I had boots of jumping, but it won't. Yeah, an extra life. And I had to go through the door there before I actually touched the ground to get that gem because I would have taken full damage otherwise. Oh, okay, so this is the boss room. So the annoying thing about not having boots to jump in here is I'm going to take full damage from jumping down here, which is a shame. So, key to this boss is to stand here, stab, stab, stab. Oop, I didn't time that really badly. And duck, turn around, stab, stab, stab. And we can catch him on his way down, stab, stab, stab. Okay, jump, and duck. There we go, and rinse and repeat. It's a lot more difficult to not take any damage this boss. But, oh, Christ, nearly did it. I was close to doing that without dying there, but never mind. There you go, one hit away, of course. But we still got plenty of lives in hand, so it's not too big a deal. Uh, is this the one where we get a lot of bats flying across the screen here, I think? Ah. They can be really difficult to deal with the bats. Man, and rooms like this is uh, really, really difficult to not take any damage. Because you just have so much flying, it's really difficult to um, have the reaction speed to be able to assess whether you're going to kill the thing or just try and jump over it. Or duck underneath it. It doesn't help that I've actually got slight, half of my screen slightly obscured by my laptop. <laughs> I'm coming out with all sorts of excuses today, aren't I? Okay, so we're just going to mark where he... Um, around, it's around about here, so stab, stab, stab. Follow him back a little bit. Stab, stab, stab. Okay, and... Back there to deal with. Get a little bit of health, which we definitely need. Some gems. Should also come in pretty handy. So where's he going to stop? Around about this point here. So we'll go stab, stab, stab. Yeah, stab. Ugh. Those. Okay. All right. So they're going to come back now. This bounce thing. There we go. Okay. So he's going to stop. Right, I'll stand by that pillar. Stab, 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 stab. And let's steal these bats. And 
We get three. It's just a little connecting room thing. Is there actually a little secret in this one? There is. Oh, I took full damage. That's annoying. Okay, so there's actually two chests in here. I've never been able to find out what they are because I never have a key at this point. I'll have to cheat my way here or something one time just to see what's in them. Okay, so then we want to go through this exit here. Okay. So I think when I did my review, this is as far as I managed to get. Generally, these little flying enemies, you want to be uh, just ducking uh, in this in the lower crenellation bits, and then they tend to fly over you uh, without damaging you. I did get hit by that one though, not in that first one. Okay, there's lots of arrows and things. There's a key down there. It's a trap. <laughs> There's no way to get it. You, you'd think you'd be able to stab him by just attacking low, but you can't. Um, so there's no way to get to get that key without dropping down there. And if you drop down there, you're gonna die. So the best thing to do is to just avoid it altogether. Rare do like to put things like those in games. I think they generally like to mess with their audience a little bit. over that one. Just always be ready to jump over an arrow. Like that one. Okay. So there's a chest here. We don't have a key yet. Um, there is a key that we can collect a little bit further on. And there's another chest. So in... Um, Oh, I can't remember now. This one is definitely healing. That one is gems, I think. But I'm going to get the healing one of, uh, when I get the key. I'm going to be coming back this way. Actually, I'm going to kill that guy while he's there. Okay. Ahead. Okay, so now we got the key, we're going to go back and get the um, healing. So that'll heal me right back up to full. And this guy, any enemies that you didn't actually kill will uh, re trigger again, they will respawn. So you have to remember that when you're backtracking. Any that you did kill will stay dead. Okay, this platform is really annoying to um, not take damage on because a flying enemy is going to basically fly straight into us. Ugh, you can sometimes kind of jump like that, but uh, still took damage from the full damage. And... Okay, ugh! Over the bats. <laughs> this game just starts just throwing everything at you. It's funny. Oh crap. Getting towards the end of the level now. Okay. Okay, so you want to duck as you walk through. Because of this little guy. Oh, break. So we are now up to the fourth boss. So what you want to do is jump down to the, um, the lower level and then jump straight back up again. Actually, go far enough, you've got to trigger the boss and then jump back up. Okay, and then we want to wait here, stab, 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 and then we want to follow him back a little bit and jump back up to the top step, stab, 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 stab. rinse and repeat basically. So it's quite an easy one to get into the rhythm of. But it's still easy to lose a life as well by mis jumping or mistiming it. Again, I'm following back and forth, just like I said earlier with the monitors, I think they regenerate their health if, the, if you let them get too far off the screen. Effectively restarts the fight again. Oh, 
I could be wrong on that. Definitely seemed like it. Um, one playthrough I played where I just I remember fighting this boss for ages and just thinking, why isn't he dying? But there we go. He's dead now. So how are we doing? We've got seven seven lives. That's pretty good. We're gonna get some gems here. This is actually a repeat of that first bonus room we found. So I'm gonna hop on the flat platform. Um, I'll come back and get that chest in a minute. Actually, I won't. I will get the gems this time. Okay, wait till it's low again. Extra life. Keep. Hop up here. And hop down here. And wait till it's at its lowest point again so we're not taking the full damage. And we got some magical gems. Right, so we're maxed out on extra lives now, which is pretty good. And we want to exit through this door. Uh, <laughs> something's going to fly at me, but I can't actually remember what it is. Oh, it's just a projectile. Okay, so we just want to keep... <sighs> Stupid. Never mind. So, we just want to stand at the edge of the platform. Hop. The tricky bits are not taking any damage. But I'll try. Oh, we did it. Generally not worth trying to kill that spider, you just want to time it so that you can jump on and off the platform without touching it. More projectiles. Acid. Okay, so there's a little bit of health there which we don't actually need for once. Whoops. I'll remember it if I need to come back for it. Sometimes I'll probably take a little bit of damage here, there it goes, so I'll actually go back and get that now. Got to remember that that bat's, there's a bat that's going to respawn. Okay. There he is, that one. So I'm just going to jump over him. Oh, he's still more for me, never mind. And... Okay, this little ambush spider. Careful not to run too far ahead. So I'm going to take a little bit of full damage here, unfortunately, collecting this key, but unavoidable, unless you have the boots jumping, of course. And I think this room's alright, actually, it's just gems. Okay, so now arrows and axes. I made the mistake last time I played this of going back through this door. You have to be really careful not to press up next to that door because you can actually go back through it and it'll take you back to the um, start stage. I think it was there. Okay, so he's going to stop by this shield. We're going to stop by this shield. Dump under that axe. Right, this game gets brutal at this point. It's just throwing, throwing so much stuff at you. Okay, not like this bit, we can get a ton of these little skull heads to deal with, and some of them just fly across the screen at breakneck speed, very very difficult to avoid, so again just slow and steady basically. Part of the problem is that they're all on kind of different heights, which makes it difficult to know ugh, which um, what you should be ducking or trying to jump over. See there, ducking was the wrong call because the call was too low to actually hit him. I can't remember what one. There isn't any of that one, so we can duck under that one. So, 8 out of 10 times, ducking is probably your best bet. Okay, we're through. We didn't lose life, but. Um, it's going to be more axes, more arrows, the usual. More minotaurs as well, so he's going to stop there. Okay, so stab, 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 stab. Jump 
play with these. Where are you going to stop? Below this shield. Ah, oh, these damn arrows. I think we want to go through that door, but I think there might be some healing down here. Yeah, there is. There's probably some projectiles. Nope, there's not. So you don't want to make the mistake of trying to go further right there. You can actually see a platform, but you can't reach it. Even with boots of jumping, I think. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure there's an invisible wall there. I've died like three or four times not realising that I was supposed to go through this damn door. So, go through that damn door. damage coming. I thought you'd stop owning on that. Uh, there's a key there but I'm gonna die if I try and get it. Hmm, I could die on purpose and then collect it actually. Basically in the next room there's a um, shield of protection. That's whether or not I value the um, just to see what happens. <laughs> okay, so it is quite difficult to avoid taking all damage here. Again, just trying to collect this key. Just the timing is just difficult. Okay. I'm not sure if that was worth doing or not really. It's sort of Tough call, but I was probably gonna die soon anyway. Ugh. Oh, okay, never mind, we didn't actually get to open it anyway. Uh, I'm Why you take so many hits? Right, so in that chest anyway, if you did manage to get the key to it, is um, shield of protection. Um, I'm gonna be jumping here. Okay, hop down here. Takes full damage. Can I stab you from here? Yes, I can. Let's do that. Hop across. Okay, so here I'm just going to stand in this corner and kill this guy. There we go. Platform, and then we're going to kill this guy and this guy, hopefully. Yeah, sort of out of sequence. I'm only trying to both are. That guy done. Can we kill this guy like this? No, I'm probably going to have to just jump down there. Okay. Ow. I think I'm going to go through that top door. Platform. Where's that platform gone? Oh, there it is. Okay. This is a section of the game where I'm pretty sure if you take the wrong door, it takes you back every time. So I'm guessing that bottom door is the wrong way. Um, oh, okay, we're right at the end of the game now. I just got a maneuver. Skeletons. And do not, whatever you do, go through that door because it'll take you right back to the start of the stage, not the game. <laughs> that would be bad. And this is the last boss room. So the first thing I want to do is jump up here, jump up here, and you see I just picked up a key which can be used to open this chest which contains a shield of protection. Now I want to jump back on the platform. How on earth did I take full damage from that? Never mind. Right, so I'm going to wait till it's nice and low and hop off. And hop up here. Now we are going to take some full damage here. Unavoidable. So, that's okay. Okay, so this is the pattern. Jump over those two. Jump back over here. He comes up, now he's going to come from the top of the screen. So I'm going to stab, 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 get as many hits as I can, jump, 
forward stab 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 he's going to come back now i want to change platform come over two projectiles stab jump back across the original plinth and then he's going to come down from the top again hopefully now you can kind of see this repeating pattern that you can um, exploit okay so we hop across jump over the two projectiles stab 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 Let's see if I can do this without losing a life, that would be nice. Jump. Jump, jump. Stab, stab, stab. Oh, took damage. Could this be it? Oh, it's standing too close. Oh, damn it. Never mind. Okay, so head across. Jump. Stab, stab, stab. Okay, stand a bit closer away this time. There we go. And he's dead. Three, three lives in hand, so that's not too bad. Not the best one I've ever done. But that is how you defeat. Wizards and Warriors X, Fortress of Fear for the Game Boy. As you can see, my ooh, I didn't beat my last playthrough. I've got a few more points for some reason. But um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Um, it's quite a difficult game, um, especially difficult um, when you're first getting used to the kind of platforming and the jumping controls, which do feel a little bit janky. Um, but with that, I will say goodbye. 